how could we make Canada a more united country? We need good leadership at the federal and provincial uh, levels to help us get there to be at a more united, uh, more united country. How do we achieve that? A little patience. Um, and I think folks need to, to educate ourselves. Everyone has an opinion, myself as well, and sometimes my opinion is not right or, you know, you don't really know what you're talking about. And so it's, it's important we have to educate ourselves, take a moment, step back before reacting. And that sounds very wholesome and it's at a very low level, but, um, you know, it's a big picture and it's a big problem. People have made the choice to make that divide. Um, it, it, it all boil, boils down to that you're, you personally. We have made that choice as people to divide. I haven't. I I have people who are f great friends who are anti-vaxxers, anti-maskers. -maskers, anti -maskers. And like I said, I worked in healthcare, ex-military. I'm in a mask. I'm fully vaccinated. I'm pro-vax. So I mean, it's, it comes down to a personal choice to make that divide. Oh my goodness! Remember that this is the best country in the world, and wake up every day and thank. You're lucky stars you live here. Maybe, maybe that will bring us together. And stop moaning and groaning and fighting amongst each other. And, and I'm more Canadian and anti-vax. You know, like, it's just horrible. I don't want to be like the States. Well, I think the East-West division is the probably the biggest one that, that needs to be addressed. And uh, quite frankly, I, I don't know that it can be. I, I think that there clearly have been, over the years, provinces that have benefited more than other provinces from the Union. And at a certain point, uh, some of the provinces just get fed up with being on the wrong end of that. So uh, it's a tough one. And I, and I think it's, it's going to require a, a lot of listening um, on behalf of both, I say both parties, but both sides, let's say, because there's, there's, there's a lot of parties. I think Canada needs to focus on Canada. I think Canada has a tendency to focus a lot on everybody else and doesn't, have a ch doesn't look at itself too, too often. I think we should focus on like more of the important issues that like unite us rather than divide us, you know, like housing reform is so important, but like we don't talk about it because there's like more of the, you know, more divisive issues like, you know, like vaccinations, I guess. But like those are the, that, those are the things that like people are most affected by, right? So I think our parliament should address those. Yeah, I think the, I think the framing of certain problems right now can be very polarizing. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I think it's always about like public, the public good, right? Public safety, public awareness, public well-being. I think our problems are maximized and our solutions are simplified. So there's a lot more that connects us than divides us. And we really just need people to focus on that, right? A lot of the wedge issues, it's not important to, or it's not the main drive of the majority of the population. Right, so if we can have somebody who just focuses on what is a broad issue for everybody, it's gonna be a lot more productive. I feel like we can all relate to each other. Um, most of our cities are essentially set up the same. So maybe that, finding like community within the unity, and I think that that might help bring us together. Yeah, I, I totally feel agree. like we're pretty diverse already, so, mm -hmm. you know, just coming together. Yeah, it's definitely like a melting pot. Like, I'm an international student, right? And I feel like if people like embrace each other's cultures and saw people as people rather than the other, and like seeing people as individuals having inherent value of just being individuals. We're torn apart by seeing families in, in schism over things like, like uh, vaccines or the truck convoy. I mean, in my 70 years, I mean, there just wasn't that intensity of division. And, you know, again, I'm not saying anything we don't already know, but, but the, you know, the amplification of social media uh, and, and just our general culture in the West of, of individualism, I, I, I don't know how to turn, to turn that around. I think it's probably to be a little bit more... I would say to communicate better between, and I will say between probably in my in my case French and English, like probably to know, know each other a lot more. I'm here. I talk to people. People are really nice. They're nice where where I am also. But what we hear a lot from 
sometimes what comes out in the media. And when I say that, I'm not the type of person who goes like, oh, media, they're the reason because of this or that. But it's only, we only hear about the negative. And that's, that's everything about news, right? We, and, but I think we should focus a lot more on the positive sides of stuff. That would help a lot, I think. I think that a new leader might be, might be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be, I'm going to be frank about that. Separate. <laughs> no, I think, I think that, I think that there should be a separation, probably for sure. Um, however, you know, you're, you're talking to a guy who still doesn't know that much, so. That's a fair answer. Like, separate. You would you like Alberta or is there? A I don't know. Maybe yeah. Maybe maybe it's a maybe it's a. Com com I don't I don't know how we can be united, but. It doesn't seem like we can. So, you know, how do, it's like the it's like America. How do you how do you unite a place that's so big and so different, right? We need to be able to see ourselves as Canadians first, less as liberals, less as conservatives, and we need to. Uh, and our governments, our our politicians, need to see that that's how we blend together as as Canadians. That's how we promote peace in the world is by listening to the voices of those that uh, have a different viewpoint than us. And we need to stand for policies that unite us together and, and not try to be always fighting with one another as to what's this and what's that or whether this is right or whether that's right. We, there's, a, there's a right and a wrong. Uh, and that's a, that's, that goes beyond politics. We have to, to stand for what is right.